your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. All through with breakfast, darling? Yes, dear. All through. I don't know what you find to be so gay about today. Any objections? Oh, loads of them. Such as? Well, it's gray out and it should be sunny. It's cold and it should be warm. It looks as if it's going to snow and it should be going to be beautiful. It... In other words, it's winter and it should be spring. Exactly. Don't you mind? Well, another couple of days of winter can't be helped. But it's all wrong, David. It's almost Easter. Come to think of it, Easter's on Sunday. Say, isn't Easter awfully early this year? That's why it's still winter out. But Easter means sunshine and warmth and spring. It doesn't feel like Easter at all, David. It doesn't even feel as if we should drive up to Eastbrook on a day like this. Oh, we've got to go up, darling. We've got to try to find a farmer for the place or we're not going to be able to move in. Couldn't we drive up tomorrow? I suppose so, but the weather might not be any better tomorrow. Oh, that's true. Well, I suppose I might as well clear up the breakfast dishes. Darling, you're not really upset by the weather, are you? Mm, no, not really, I guess. Well, things don't always happen on cue. You can't always wake up one morning and find grass on the ground, birds in the trees, and a blue sky. Can't you? No. Except in fairy tales, nursery rhymes, and bad novels. Bad novels. Why do people always say novels are bad when they describe things the way people wish they were? <laughs> You have something there. When I was a little girl, I remember waking up in the morning, and one morning it felt different than any other morning. Mama didn't make me wear a heavy overcoat, mittens, and leggings. That's what you think you remember. But today, as a hint of things to come, I let you go out without your leggings. And somehow, as if Mama had planned it all, the park would feel all different that day, and everything looked different. I guess it was like that with me, too. You what? First day we took baseball bats to the park instead of footballs. Hey, have you ever been to a baseball game? I never had a brother. Well, when spring's really here, and the Yankees and the Giants come to New York, I'll take you to a baseball game. Oh, I wish it were today. Oh, you think you're going to like baseball, huh? Well, I think I'm going to like spring, huh? <laughs> I think if we're going to the country, we'd better get started. I've got to get back in time to be in the office this afternoon. I guess so. I'll clear the dishes. Oh, David, look, it's snowing out. So it is. Oh, isn't that awful? I'm so sick of winter. It's only a little flurry, darling. See, the snow's not even sticking to the ground. Honestly, it feels as if spring is never going to come this year. You're just in a hurry because of the farm. I'm just in a hurry. And I'm also thinking of all the little Easter rabbits and the chicks. They'll freeze. Say, David, it is amazing, isn't it, how many chicks manage to get born in time for Easter? Especially considering how early Easter is this year. It's Mama, I'll answer. You always find a way out of your responsibilities, don't you? Oh, leave the dishes, darling. I'll do them after. I don't mind. But I do. <laughs> Hello, Mama? Yes, we've left. We're halfway up to Eastbrook. And it's a dreadful day in Eastbrook, too. The roads are icy and everything's all gray. Yes, of course, I'll dress warmly. Mama, when do you think spring's going to come? Ever? Who do you think your mother is, an oracle? Mama, are you an oracle? <laughs> She says, no, David, she isn't. Here, she wants to talk to you. Hello, Mother. <laughs> yes, of course, it's perfectly all right to drive up today. No, it's not that bad out. Just because it's Easter weekend, you two girls think there's a law against snow. <laughs> it's no worse than it was yesterday. It's no worse than it'll be tomorrow, worse luck. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come along, Mother? <laughs> all right. All right, fine. Bye. Bye. Is she coming? No, she said something about leaving the North Pole to Admiral Byrd. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better hurry and get dressed. We'll never get back. Oh, David, if only I could see one little flower. Oh, you'll see plenty on Sunday. I suppose even if it hails, the ladies will turn out with their latest cabbages and window boxes <laughs> on their heads. <laughs> I'm going to wear the new hat I bought with Julia. Wait you see it. David, look out the window and see if the snow's go going to stop. Yes, ma'am. Well? Well, my arthritis ain't painting me, and my rheumatism ain't a-throbbing, so it's hard to tell. Well, just lick your finger and hang it out the window. Well, that's for wind, not snow. No, it doesn't look like it's going to let up. You'd think it was December out. 
there was Christmas instead of Easter coming up. Mm. Still angling for presents, aren't you? <laughs> Say, I think I hear a horse. A gift horse? What would a horse be doing out in a day like this? I can't hear him. Well, lean out and see. Mm. You're right, darling. It is a horse. Has he got his galoshes on? No, no galoshes. He's wearing a, a gray felt hat. His Easter bonnet. <laughs> hey, you know what he's pulling? My leg. <laughs> he's pulling a wagon full of flowers. Oh, don't be silly. Who takes flowers out in a slow flurry? Well, look for yourself. David, you're right. It is a flower man. I guess he didn't look at the sky before he left the house this morning. How would how would you like some flowers, darling? Flowers for me? Mm-hmm. Come on, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go down and get you a geranium. Maybe that'll cheer you up. Oh, I'm cheered up all right. I'm just a little depressed. Well, then we'll undepress you. Flowers. Buy your flowers. I promise you that bit. Geranium, petunia, daffodil, flowers. Nice spring of flowers. Poor flower man. He's living in a fool's paradise. Mm, at least it's a paradise. Look, isn't that the most pathetic horse you've ever seen? Be careful, darling. Don't slip on the sidewalk. Oh, flowers. Thanks. Buy some flowers, eh? Nice flowers. Hey, whoa. Please. Hey, wait a minute there. Whoa. Uh, we'd like some flowers. Whoa there, Margarita, eh? Whoa. Now, what do you have, eh? Nice flowers every time. Oh, they're beautiful. Nice, you know? Mm, they're beautiful, but are they going to freeze on a day like this? What's the matter with today, huh? Nothing much except it's snowing and it's bleak. <laughs> ah, the snow. That's a little thing. Oh, maybe little to you, but Margarita looks as if she's freezing. We did that the nice and warm blanket. Margarita, she's a fine. She looked like that in the middle of August, too. Maybe she's dreaming of a white Easter. <laughs> this little bit of snow. <laughs> she's a winter saying goodbye. Oh, I'd much rather the sun were saying hello. The sun? The sun, she's here, too. She is? She's up there, in the middle of the sky, right behind that cloud. Which one? Oh, she's just waiting to take out the head. Mm. She's uh, acting a little shy. Mm. See, a little shy. But she come out all right. When she see Giuseppe and Margherita out with the little flowers, she be no more shy. She's come out, and she's going to beam all over the place. Mm. It's quite a wagon you got there. What, uh... What kind of flowers have you got? All the time. Oh, they look so cheerful and so much like spring. They are of the spring. My wagon is a fool of the spring. She's a flowing over with the spring. Giuseppe, yes? maybe you are the first swallow. The first to swallow? <laughs> I mean, maybe now that you're here, the others will come back too. Come back to the swallows? Mm -hmm. uh, my wife means uh, maybe nature will take a hint. Oh, nature, eh? She's a just a waking up. She's a been in a deep sleep. In a deep, sweet, white sleep. Sometimes she take a little bit longer to wake him up. But when she wake up, the whole world feels good. And she feel young again. If you wake up too soon, you know, feel so good. But this spring, when the Easter she's come, everything will be just like new. Maybe you've uh, got something there, Giuseppe. A little bit of patience. A lot of patience, if you ask me. But it's uh, worth it. Life begins uh, not in the middle of winter, because it's uh, the first of the year, but in the heart. And when in the heart it's a uh, feel uh, like a spring, <laughs> and uh, then the snow, she will uh, go away, and the sun will uh, come out, and everything and everybody gets another chance. Your heart feel like spring, Giuseppe? Look, this morning... I look out of the window, and in my heart, she say to me, Giuseppe, take out the flowers and walk them up and down the street and sell the flowers. The spring, it will see you, and it will know that it's a time for it to come and to give everybody a chance at a new life. Well, suppose you sell us some new life, Giuseppe. Darling, just look at all the flowers. Aren't they wonderful? Now, now which of the flowers would you like? Which? Oh, mm -hmm. I like them all. Geraniums? Beautiful, bright red for courage. A white lily for the goodness and the east. Lilac for the sweetness and the hope. Take them. Take them as much as you like, eh? All right, we will. 
Let's look at these over here. Oh, my, these are beautiful. Oh, Ooh. those white ones, and smell them, lovely? darling. Here now, Claudia. <gasps> Claudia, darling, hold out your arms. Oh, David, I feel just like a bride. <laughs> you look like a bride. <laughs> here you are, a geranium. Oh, see, and his petals are just like velvet. Mm, here's some lilacs, too, darling. Mmm, they smell so sweet. David, they're tickling my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a daffodil. You must have a daffodil, sir. Eh? Of course, we must have daffodils. Oh, mademoiselle. Any room in your arms for a little bunch of violets, hmm? Always room for a little bunch of violets, darling. There you are. The violets, just like a crown. Yeah, now let's put them all together. There oh, I've never seen so many flowers. Aren't <laughs> are they, they too heavy? No, it's like carrying air, warm, sweet spring air. And look, look at the snow. She's a stop of snow in it. David, it has. And behind it, at the cloud of the sun, which is waking up. In a moment, the whole world will be all anew. The whole world. Like my wagon of flowers. Well, here you are, Giuseppe. And keep the change. Oh, thank you. I'm always a feeler that the, for the first of flowers, that there should be no money. No, but the... no buts about it. The first flowers are worth the most. The only shame is that the only way we can let you know is with money. <laughs> you let me know before. And now, Margarita, we push along, eh? And a sell of the flowers all the way down to the street. Goodbye, Giuseppe. And come again. Goodbye. I come again. And when I walk back after the summer with my wagon empty, the first swallow, she will fly away. Hey, Margarita, come on, giddy up. Flowers. David. Nice. Air feels flowers. warmer. Mm, the sky's clearing. It's almost as if he brought spring with him. I think Giuseppe was right. I think we bring sp spring when our hearts know it's time. David, let's drive to Eastbrook and let's take all the flowers with us. We'll let the country know that it's Easter and it's spring and it's time to wake up. Flowers, nice and fresh to spring the flowers. The Coca-Cola Company and your local Coca-Cola bottler have asked me to extend to you and your family their very good wishes for a happy Easter. You know, Mr. King, you feel that the spring is just around the Sunday. Well, it's certainly welcome, Giuseppe. I guess everybody's had just about enough of winter. You know, when I was young and in love, I dream only of April and the blue skies. Oh, yes, I pack my bag and off I go to the country to leave, eh? But it's not that simple anymore. Before Claudia and David can pack their bags and move to the farm, they've got to rent their apartment. Oh, that should not be any trouble today. No, no trouble, but perhaps a little confusion, shall we say. Whatever it is, if you happen to be in the neighborhood on Monday, Giuseppe, you'll find out. I come by with my wagon, and now I must go. Happy Easter, Mr. King, eh? And to buy some flowers, eh? Nice, a fresh a spring of flowers. All a kind of flowers. Happy Easter to you, Giuseppe. And as I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. These programs star Catherine Bard as Claudia and Paul Crabtree as David. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>